cab, external light check, you would go low beam, high beam, left blinker, right blinker, four way, and then put it in the parking light position, say clearance, then he will go to the back, you will do left, right, four way, brake. Then he'll come in, he'll make sure your light's off, your ignition's off, you would get out three points of contact, chalk your tire. When you come back in, you would use three points of contact and you would start. This is step one. This is my seat belt. It is properly mounted secure. It is not cut, torn, or frayed. It latches and unlatches and is adjusted to me. Step two, safe start. Put the engine in the on position. Wait for your gauges to reset and your ABS light to go out. Check to make sure you are in neutral. Press in the clutch. Start your engine. Now, you would go to your safety equipment, which is step three. These are my extra fuses. I have one for each time. Step four. This is my DOT. Uh, three DOT reflective triangles. They're probably not secure, not been broken or cracked. And they're orange and red in color. Step five. This is my fire extinguisher. It is properly mounted secure. It is not bent, broken, or cracked. It is 10 BC, charged, inspected, pin, and tapped. Okay? Then you would move to your mirrors, which is step six. These are my mirrors. I have three on each side, three on the left, three on the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're properly mounted secure. They're not bent, broken, or cracked, not missing those bolts or screws. They're clean and clear. They're adjusted to me. No illegal stickers. Step seven. This is my windshield. It's properly mounted secure. It is not bent, broken, or cracked. It's clean and clear. There's no illegal stickers or obstructions. Step eight. These are my windshield wipers. They're properly mounted secure. They're not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing those bolts or screws. No abrasion, bulges, and cuts. Step nine. This is my windshield wiper fluid. It sprays evenly onto the windshield. Step ten. This is my dash. It's properly mounted secure. It is not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. It is clean and clear of obstructions. Step 11. This is my AC heater defroster. It is properly mounted secure. It is not bent, broken, or cracked. Not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. I will adjust it to where I feel air here and I feel air at the bottom. Then I will turn it back to the setting it was on. Step 12. This is my gauges. These are my gauges. They're properly mounted secure. They're not bent, broken, or cracked. They're clean and clear. They're not missing nuts, bolts, or screws. This is my oil temperature gauge. It should be between uh, 40 and 60 psi. It's at 40. This is my oil uh, water temperature gauge. It should be between 170 to 210. It's at 170. This is my voltmeter. It should be between 12 and 14. It's at 14. This is my def system. It's full. This is my primary and secondary air pressure gauges. It should be between 100 and 125. They're at 120. Now, my internal light check, step 13. My low beam, my high beam, my left blinker, my right blinker, my four-way. Step 14, my city horn, my highway horn. In cap, 14 steps.